opportunities to create services that, that weren't even possible uh, before. You know, take uh, something that we, we spend a lot of uh, time on at, at Google, which is actually one of the world's tougher computer science problems, uh, machine translation. Uh, you know, can you translate you know, the world's information into your language uh, so that you can actually you know, learn what you know, most of the world thinks about something? And the answer is actually yes. You know, we currently translate over uh, 160 million web pages per day for users uh, in over 70 different languages. Uh, and we do this you know, instantly in a matter of seconds. Uh, clearly, we cover the 23 official languages of the EU, uh, but many others. So what we're talking about here is instant translation of, of content, of chats, of speech, uh, something that will really make the, the world a global place. And that can only be done uh, in the cloud when you have uh, lots of examples of how people use language and how they translate it uh, back and forth. Number two, mobile. Uh, we're seeing a dramatic increase in, the, in, in mobile usage. Uh, it means more and more pe people are actually going on, online without their PC. Uh, a few weeks uh, back, our, our CEO, Eric Schmidt, uh, talked about uh, the Google, new Google motto, forget about the you know, it used to be don't be evil, but now it's going to be mobile first. Don't worry, it's still don't be evil is still there. But mobile first, um, uh, we, um, uh, that we're really thinking about the, the next growth of the internet being uh, driven by mobile. Everything we do, we want to do uh, for mobile devices. Uh, as well as the PC, and increase, you know, perhaps we'll be doing them only for mobile things uh, uh, in, in the future. Um, there's a really good chance, uh, frankly, that, uh, you know, the mobile web is going to be better than the, 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 what the web that we're, you know, we're used to in the past. The thing, the thing about these devices is they're actually a lot more human than, than this thing, you know. Uh, you know, mobile phones, uh, you know, they, they, they think, uh, you know, they, they, they've got ears, right, uh, they've got a mic. Uh, they've got uh, eyes, they have cameras, they have skins, uh, and they can actually talk to you. So uh, I think at the end of the day, you're going to find that, um, that mobile devices are a lot more useful uh, than what we're used to. Uh, number three, social. Um, you know, once upon a time, tweets came from birds, uh, but uh, we know now that uh, there, there's a lot more interesting things to tweet about. Um, there's been an explosion. There are now uh, one for, the, the claim is that one for, for every six uh, out of every six minutes online is spent on social networks. So I, I, I'm guessing that might be a, a low estimate. Um, and it's, it, it's, it's, it's the, the web really catching up with, with real life, but it's changing the way we discover content. And it also means that the next gen generation, uh, folks who are coming of age uh, with the internet, the born digital folks, are actually living their lives uh, out there online. Uh, and let's not forget uh, you know, the fourth trend uh, about the commercial nature of the web, what it's doing to the economy. 